Hey Trinidad and Tobago, it's good to be back with you. Today we're going to discuss an all-important topic, earthquake zones across TNT. Now there are eight earthquake zones across TNT. Earth, eight earthquake zones that surround Trinidad and Tobago. Many of the subscribers have been thanking us and they've been asking me for more information. Now remember, you don't know when an earthquake is going to happen. There's nothing much we can do about it. The only thing that we can do is to educate ourselves around earthquakes and how to act when an earthquake is occurring. That's the only thing we really can do. All right. So without any further ado, guys, let me get right into this. So eight earthquake zones surround Trinidad and Tobago. If you look at the map on the screen from TT Weather Center, great guys, great information. I'm going to put a link in the description so you could check it out yourself. All right. If you look at this. Eight zones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. If you notice, there's a zone that encompasses Tobago. Um, Trinidad itself is zone six. And then there are zones outside of the landmass. So that's what we'll be taking a look at today. So let's get right into it at this time. Since 1990, the UWI SRC records an annual average of 280 earthquakes in Trinidad and Tobago region. Of these 280 quakes, 50 of these seismic events are on average about 3.5 in magnitude. This means on average, we expect to see approximately 23 to 24 earthquakes per month with four to five earthquakes larger than magnitude 3.5. Now, the zones have been regionally defined, locally defined, and redefined by the UWI. So the eight zones are zone one, the Paria Peninsula, zone two, El Pilar Fault, zone three, central Gulf of Paria and east central coastal Venezuela, zone four, north of Trinidad, zone five, south of Trinidad, zone six, on land Trinidad, zone seven, south and west of Tobago, and zone eight, east of Trinidad and south of Tobago. And you see shaded in the pink mark out, that's zone one. Now, according to the UWI, zone one is complex and without doubt the most active near Trinidad. According to the UWI, this area is the second most active area in the Eastern Caribbean and has generated major earthquakes in historic times. The 1766 magnitude 7.9 event estimated to have been located in this area destroyed the then capital of San Jose, the 1888 magnitude 7.5 event damaging from Trinidad to St. Vincent, the largest event during the instrumental period or when they were measuring since 1952 occurred on September the 20th, 1968 and was magnitude 7.0. Significant damage was caused in Venezuela and Trinidad and there was damage in Port of Spain. Now, the UWI says approximately 65 events of magnitude 2.1 and above are located in this area annually. Zone 2, the El Pilar Fault. And if you look in the pink shaded area again, this is Zone 2, the El Pilar Fault. The zone comprises part of the boundary between the Caribbean and the South American plate. The location is hypothesized to have a higher frequency of earthquakes than other locations along the El Pilar fault zone due to a kink in the fault system with higher stress levels in this zone than elsewhere. What are saying here is that higher stress levels are building in this zone than anywhere else. Zone number three, Central Gulf of Paria, East Central Coastal Venezuela. Again, you see in the pink shaded area here. The Gulf of Paria is yet another very faulted, complex area surrounding Trinidad. At this zone, the extension of the Los Bajos Fault from southwestern Trinidad and the Warm Springs Fault from central Trinidad meets the El Pilar Fault. High levels of seismic activity occur in this zone, with both shallow and moderate depth earthquakes generally remaining less than 50 kilometers in depth. The UWI SRC has stated during the Q&A of earthquake swarms between January and February 2018 that this location can generate magnitude 6.5 or greater earthquakes. All right. 
According to the UWI SRC, approximately 40 events of magnitude 2.1 and above are located in this area annually. Let's go to north of Trinidad. Again, in the pink outline, north of Trinidad. Let's go to this zone. Quakes in this area can be associated with the North Coast Fault System, which runs just offshore the northern coast of Trinidad, where events are usually less than 40 kilometers in depth. This area typically produces light magnitude 4 to 4.9 or moderate magnitude 5 to 5.9 magnitude quake. Earthquakes in this zone tend to produce fewer aftershocks than earthquakes elsewhere across Trinidad and Tobago. In the UWI SCRC profile of the area, they estimate approximately 28 events of magnitude 2.1 and above are located annually with an earthquake in the magnitude range of 4 to 5.0 occurring every five years, the most recent being in 2005. So 28 events of 2.1 usually occur in this area annually. The UWI SRC said the largest known quake in this area was magnitude 6.5, which occurred on December the 4th. 1954 one person was killed many were injured let's go to south trinidad again you see it here in the pink outlay this zone is fairly quiet regarding earthquakes larger than magnitude 3.8 generally episodic moderate 5 to 5.9 magnitude quake takes place according to the src during the instrumental era period since 1952, there has been negligible seismicity generated in this zone closest to Trinidad. However, the Amokuro Delta in eastern Venezuela periodically generates earthquakes above magnitude 5.0. All right. So basically, it's a fairly quiet earthquake zone. Zone 6. This is the one that will interest everyone, basically. Onland Trinidad. And again, outlay in pink. It's just the entire Trinidad. Trinidad is a highly faulted area with several fault systems running across the island, all due to compensation of lateral movement of the Caribbean and South American plates. Several major fault systems run across on land, Trinidad, including the El Pilar Fault System, the Central Range Fault, Northern Range Fault, Darien Ridge, Los Bejos Fault, and the Arima Fault. Earthquakes on land across Trinidad are typically less than 50 kilometers. And if you look at this selected major faults across Trinidad, you see where they all crisscross. Look at them. That's where they all crisscross. All right. According to the UWI SRC, since 1980 and before 2004, there have been on average 13 events annually in the general magnitude of less than 4.1. There was, however, one event in 1981 with a magnitude of 4.8. Since 2001, there has been an increase in the number of earthquakes recorded with a sequence occurring in 2004, 2005, which generated two events in the magnitude 5 to 5.5 range. Most of these events occur at depths below 20 kilometers. So that's on land Trinidad. We go to zone 7, which is south and west of Tobago. And if you see here, that zone actually encompasses all of Tobago. Zone 7 is a fairly complex area where earthquake swarms associated with the Caribbean and South American plate boundary. At this location, there are intersections between transform faults and subduction zones of the Lesser Antilles. Until 1982, this area was considered a quiet area with low seismic hazard based on the low level, low magnitude output. On September 20, 1982, a magnitude 5.2 earthquake occurred beginning on Earthquake sequence on September the 20th, 1982, a magnitude 5.2 quake occurred, beginning an earthquake sequence for many months after. In April 1997, a strong earthquake measuring magnitude 6.1 occurred, the largest earthquake recorded in this zone during the instrumental era. This quake caused at least 18 million worth of damage in Tobago alone. Let's go to east of Trinidad south of Tobago, which is zone eight. Again, you see in the outlay here. The zone similar to zone seven was considered low seismic hazard based on low level magnitude output until March 10, 1988. When an earthquake measuring 6.3 
magnitude east of Trinidad effectively activated that zone. Since then, earthquakes have episodic with moderate of magnitude 5.0 to 5.9 in magnitude. According to WISRC, there have been episodic sequences in 1994 and 2004 interspersed by low level of background earthquakes. The annual average is about 25 earthquakes. The majority of events in this area occurred depths of 35 kilometers. So what I just gave to you was a rundown of the eight earthquake zones that surround Trinidad and Tobago. And remember mainland Trinidad is one by itself. This is not to scare you. You cannot know when an earthquake is coming. The most that you can do is to educate yourself about what to do during an earthquake. The information I give you is for educational purposes, is not to scare you. Uh, persons have been asking for it on this channel, and I decided to go get the information, break it down in summary form, and give it to you. The longer versions, I'll put the link in the description, which is located at TT Weather Center, so you can go check it out there. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope that this has been an educational one for you, and that you will continue to view the channel.